Hello, brilliant Jeroy community. Welcome to this new video. Today's video is a sponsored video. We're going to put Hitem 3D to the test. It's an AI powered 3D model generator, and we're going to see in practice what this application can do. Let's get started. For now, we need a 2D image. It can be a photograph, a drawing, or an AI generated image. Hello, Gemini. I need Baroque with gems. Okay, excellent. So in the end, this is the ring that Gemini created with me and that I'm going to upload right here in Hit and Treaty. Let's go. So here's my image. Let's load it. I'm going to ask for the texture for your 3D model. And first, we're going to go at the pro grade for commercial 3D printing and let's generate. It's going to be in the queue and the model generation will begin. Maybe you don't like artificial intelligence, but now the revolution is happening, like it or not. So you should at least try it. And here are the subscription plans. There's a free option. You get 100 credits, perfect for testing. Then pro and max, 20 and 40 a month with a specific amount of credits that you have to use each month. And then also you can buy credits, 1000 credits for 20 bucks. The technology is very new, so the market is now very competitive, but we're going to see that hit and 3D is fast and deliver more details for the cost. 98%, 99%, drum roll. Okay, and here is the result with the textures. We have some information about the model, the amount of faces, vertices, the size of the texture. Then here, these are the formats that Hitem 3D is working with. GLB, OBG, STL, and FBX. These are all the major formats. So from here, I want to go to Blender. I'm going to work with the object file format, with better topology, and I'm going to download my result. And here also as an information about the workflow, you can use three free retries if you did not like the result at first. You can ask for other interpretations of the image. And well, fourth is to admit, it's easy to understand why this technology is getting so much attraction. This 3D object from only one image reference, a 2D flat reference image. And we can see that the ring has a decent thickness with several layers of volumes. It's a hollow ring, as a jeweler would expect. We have the support for the ring. That's always a nice bonus for the rendering, for the animations. And this is what Hit and 3D delivered in a couple of minutes. And I used a very low resolution reference image that I made very quickly using Gemini to begin with. So obviously we'll keep testing Hitsem 3D, but this is already pretty good. You can very easily imagine many situations where using Hitsem 3D is going to change a lot of things. So like I said earlier, you should at least give it a try. So let's go to the zip folder. Here I have the object, the texture, and the material information. I need to extract this to my folder, and now I can go to Blender. So now here in Blender 4.4, I'm going to go to File, Import, Object, and double click the model. So here it is now in Blender. Let's check the render preview and we can see that the texture is here. And it's already interesting to see the carvings on the ring. That is very interesting for me as a jewelry designer and jeweler. By example, Hitem 3D is a fantastic tool to create super fast prototypes for 3D printing. And also it's super fast to make a nice visualization of the design from just one simple concept. Because as you know, in the jewelry business, the clients want to see the ring on their finger as fast as possible. So I just have to do a couple of steps to prepare this model for 3D printing. Go to my resin printer, call the client, and then the clients can come very happily to my workshop before adapting the design to very specific requests from the clients. Of course, from there, we'll go back to more traditional techniques, modeling by hand in Blender. That's now the traditional technique. Let's do this better. I asked Gemini to remove the gems and the support of the ring. So now Hit and 3D is generating that model and it's also a lot faster. Okay, this is a lot better, especially the leaves that were missing from the previous model. I used a better resolution for the image darker background. Of course, I need to correct some details, some elements missing here and there. 
And also don't forget to take advantage of the free retry. You might get a better result. And this one is already a lot better and I still have more retries. And then I will show you how to combine several results and elements in Blender to use your favorite parts of each result. And while I'm here, I'm going to download the four formats. Let's go back to Blender. Okay, so load your models in Blender. Put a reference for the finger size. This is size eight American. So then you can scale your model to the proper real life size for 3D printing. Then here I can compare the three models. This one is clearly the best. It's the second one. It has sharper details. So here in edit mode, let's find an angle, clean the selection, merge at center. So I'm going to clean the model like this. Now I want to extract an element. Let's make a copy, go to edit mode, X-rays. I want this decoration here. Remove the rest of the selection, invert the selection, delete all the vertices you don't need. Then you can start to make a very precise selection to keep the element that you want. Um, so go ahead and select everything that you don't need. Check what you forgot. You can be very precise here. Merge a sensor if you like. So now obviously you'll have some holes here and there. Select everything, close with F. If it doesn't work, that will be because you have some loose vertices. Um, Otherwise, it will work very well. Now I'm going to add a remesh modifier, find a proper resolution, add a smooth modifier if necessary, not too much. I want to keep details, turn into a mesh. If necessary, go to sculpt mode so you can smooth out anything that you need. Check the model with the shift key, I'm smoothing. With the left click, I'm adding. Now my element is ready that I can add wherever I need to correct and enhance the 3D model. So this is the result. To this, add the prongs for the gems, then add the gems, then add some jewelry environment and materials. And what we get is a fantastic ring design created with the assistance of Hitam 3D. And now I just have to export this model for 3D printing and manufacturing. Select the metal elements, file, export, SDL, selection only, export, now, obviously do file, import, SDL, add a remesh modifier, check your voxel size, then use the decimate modifier to lower a face count and export your SDL again, selection only. Then it's time for the STL doctor or directly in your slicer. Here we have a volume of 1.81 cubic centimeters. That will be 18 grams in silver and 25 grams in 14 karat gold. And also remember, this is going to have a fantastic emerald and 16 rubies. Very lovely, precious gemstones. This is a perfect fit. So now we're going to create a golden dragon. This is the front view. Let's load the back view. Then I also have the left side. Let's AI generate this 3D dragon in Hitem 3D multi-view. And this is the result in 10 minutes. I did not ask for the texture because it's only gold. So this might very well be a sponsored video. But anyway, I want to say this is fantastic. So now we all might be scared to lose our jobs. I think that many of us are already losing their jobs. But also for many of us, it's not that we are going to lose our jobs. Our jobs are going to evolve. So what we need now is to evolve with the tools. And believe me, I've been doing 3D modeling for decades. It's time to change. It's time to evolve. That's the same when humanity invented the brush. First, we were painting with our hands, with our fingers. Then the brush was a big technology. You can't stop change and evolution. You can't stop technology. This is a new brush. This is a new tool. Some jobs are disappearing. New jobs are being created. Learn to make it work in your favor and Hitem 3D is one of these tools. Let's download the models and let's go back to Blender. So here I'm going to import the GLB file. It's the lightest. Set it to scale and set my gold material. Here I just want to enhance the tail and create an animation. Save and be happy. This is the resulting animation created in Blender. And this is the STL file of the dragon ready for 3D printing. Obviously, I will create the supports in the slicer. What I really liked about the result created by Hitten 3D is the space in the design of the wings. That's a very nice surprise. And obviously, the amount of details. So many things can be said about artificial intelligence, but I will keep saying that you need to learn how to use AI. And I hope we'll learn to use it for good. Take care.
be nice to the planet, be nice to animals, and see you soon.